think humans are the smartest animals? Raccoons pick locks, crows know physics, and bees hold democratic dance-offs. We humans take a lot of pride in our brains and our supposed dominance over the other creatures of the earth. But the animal kingdom is full of brainy creatures who would surely blow even the smartest humans away with their intelligence and skills if we gave them the chance. In this video we will tell a little story of a Cambian pouched rat, who won gold medal, for identifying deadly landmines, in Cambodia. Tap subscribe to get notified with more such videos and reels, and don't forget to hit like button, so we know you like our video. Cambodia, a country located in Southeast Asia has a major problem with landmines, especially in rural areas. The reason for this is the legacy of three decades of war which has taken a lot of impact in the lives of the Cambodians. It has been estimated that there may be as many as four to six million mines and other pieces of unexploded ordnance in Cambodia. Cambodia's history has been marked by war, civil war and extreme human suffering. Cambodia has one of largest landmine and explosive remnants of war contaminations in the world. Between 1970 and 1990, the prevalence of landmines in Cambodia led to the highest percentage of physically disabled inhabitants in the world. The Cambodian conflict was the first war in history in which landmines claimed more victims, combatants and non-combatants, than any other weapon. It is estimated that over 80 million landmines are active and unknown across the world. Since the early 1990s, a charity called Apopo has been training rats to detect landmines in Tanzania. Apopo is a non-profit organization that trains African giant pouch rats to save lives by detecting landmines and tuberculosis. The Gambian pouched rat, also known commonly as the African giant pouched rat, is a species of nocturnal pouched rat. It has very poor eyesight, so depends on its senses of smell and hearing. While the African giant pouched rat is much larger than the usual pet rats, but it is still light enough to not trigger a landmine by walking over it. When they detect a mine, they lightly scratch atop it, signaling to their handler what they found. Magawa was one of the most successful rat trained by the Belgian charity Apopo to alert human handlers about the mines so they can be safely removed. Magawa is part of a cohort of rats bred for bomb sniffing purpose. He was born in Tanzania in 2014, and in 2016, moved to Cambodia's northwestern city of Siem Reap, home of the famed Angkor temples, to begin his bomb sniffing career. Magawa won a People's Dispensary for Sick Animals Gold Medal, the highest honor given to heroic animals by the UK based veterinary charity, for his work in Cambodia in 2020. Magawa has cleared more than 141,000 square meters of land the equivalent of some 20 football pitches, sniffing out 71 landmines and 38 items of unexploded ordnance, according to a popa. And for the first time, it won a British charity's top civilian award for animal bravery last year, an honor so far exclusively reserved for dogs. Even among his skilled cohorts working in Cambodia, Magawa was a standout sniffer. It was capable of screening an area of 200 square meters in half an hour, something which would take a manual demeanor four days. Handlers use positive reinforcement methods that give the rats food rewards for accomplishing tasks and finding a target. Then they're trained in scent discrimination, choosing explosive smells over something else to get a food reward. Magawa's metal was perfectly rat-sized and fit onto his work harness. It used to go to work with its metal on his neck. Retired in June 2021 at the age of 7 it was said Magawa will live in his same cage as before and follow the same daily routine but won't be going out to the minefields anymore. He'll be fed the same food, have playtime every day and get regular exercise and health checks. It said Magawa was in good health and spent most of last week playing with his usual enthusiasm. But by the weekend, he started to slow down, napping more and showing less interest in food in his last days. Magawa had recently celebrated his birthday in November reaching the grand old age. Apopo said Magawa died peacefully on January 12, 2021. Magawa will leave lasting legacy in the lives that he saved as a detection rat in Cambodia. The real gold medalist, the Magawa.